today's video, I am going to show you how to take your custom categories in your TPT store from this, which is okay, to this, or this one, or maybe even this one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everyone, if you are new or returning, welcome. Here at Excel Primary Week, talk teacher side hustles, and there is a TPT site wide sale around the corner sometime in February. Or usually about the second week, that's one of the cats. I had a request for more cats. <laughs> hey, where's the other one? There's the other one. <laughs> There's two. Two of the two of the three. TPT will announce it the week before. If you are a TPT seller, make sure you're on their email list so that you get word when it is going to happen. And then you can also apply to give to receive a $10 TPT gift card that you can give away. You can do that to build your following if you want to, or just as a thank you, just give it away to some of your one of your followers. You choose, right? This is kind of a follow-up to the TPT store reviews that I did and so a couple of you were asking how do you do your custom categories and there's actually a couple ways uh, I'll show you the way I used to do it and then I'll show you the way I learned actually while reading through the seller forum because there were certain icons that I wanted and I didn't know where they got them so I found a few websites and they mentioned a couple websites so I'm going to just share with you, I think three or maybe even four. I'll have the links down below and you can uh, use one, which ones you want. Just to give you a heads up, and I'll probably say this later on. When you make the changes, they don't automatically show. Depending on what the change was, you may not see that change for at least an hour. I would just leave it for a day, come back and take a look at it, okay? So, anyways, I'm going to turn the camera around. And uh, let's get at this. And it's under everything else, but it's this one right here. Custom categories, how can I organize my categories the way I want? Now, they make reference to somebody, but this is a product, this this link right here. Um, and I actually, uh, June, who is part of Doggone It store, TPT store, she sells a custom categories TPT sellers um, product. And I've also used a sample of hers if I go here. So you can see she's she's keeping things relatively the same. Stars, red apples, green apples, red circle, blue circle, gold circle, right? Yellow circle, green circle, right? Nice and basic, but it stands out really good. I mean, this draws my attention. Okay, so that's June's. Let me go back to the seller forum. And they will make a post, and it's I think it's just, I think it's this one right here. Okay, so it's actually the third one to post number three. You can see the, the number over here. So we go here. Here is the whole shebang with explaining about using the code. Okay, and I'm going to show you Mrs. H's her store and her custom categories. Okay, so she uses hearts and then emojis. There's one last store I'm gonna show you and that is a teacher and her cat. This is Miranda, she's a fellow Canadian TPT seller, big TPT seller. But it's, most of hers are in black and white. But if you scroll down a little bit more, she's got her math in using a triangular ruler. She's got these pencils. So she's done a mix, okay? But that's there's no one right way, and you really don't want to copy anybody's because people will figure it out. But um, there's so many different ways you can do this, okay? So let me go to my store. So this is my custom categories. I don't have a huge one at the moment because I don't have a lot of products. I'm playing with these right now, okay? When I use the same icon, it goes alphabetical. So same icon here. Then I made a line, made a line, did my math, I used a dice, I used seasons, I put a purple. I was trying to figure out what I should do. I was I decided that it was a black and white apple. I might change it to a red and a red apple. 
Okay, I'm trying to decide that. Each of these codes has a number, and when it uh, when you hit save, it puts it in numerical order. So you really got to write down what the number code is and look at look at the numbers. I'll show you in a minute. But this one is just a handwriting, and then I left these two blank. What we'll do today is I'm going to put some icons beside these two, and I'm going to probably uppercase this one. Now what you're going to need is probably a piece of paper. Okay, you're going to look at your, your current custom categories, write them down on a piece of paper, or if you have them on a Google Doc or something, and then you're going to need to uh, decide what you would like as your icon beside it. Again, try not to copy anybody, someone else. I mean, you could take the same icon and, and like, for example, there are different colors of hearts. There are different colors of circles, as you saw in June's custom categories. But try and create something that is unique for you. As you can see here, I did a Canadian resources one because... I sell math products that are Canadian and US in content. Now I'm going to show you four different websites and again the links will, are down below in the description of this video. W3 Schools has uh, probably the most comprehensive of all the emojis and they start right there and go all the way down and if you notice they don't have the and sign and the hashtag or the semicolon at the end but they've got all of these and they've got a lot so you have quite a, a, a variety to try here they've got uh, looks like Chinese symbols here different weathers and moons and, and some of these are on the other sites as well but I thought this one really has some else but you can check out this site what I would do is I would um, Bookmark these, click the little star here and it bookmarks it, and then that way you can find these pages much faster. So this is Sabine Bina's, and she was the first one that I ever saw, and these, many of these, are a copy-paste. So there are emojis that you can copy-paste instead of putting the code in, and there are ones that need this HTML code and you've got to do it exactly like this no spaces in there okay you need this some of the emojis down here you can use by just copy pasting so for example I can take this green heart just highlight it and then right click copy <clears throat> and then I can go into my store here now I want to go to the house to product listings and over on the left side here third one underneath easel is custom categories you don't you can't change it here you've got to go to manage your categories and you can see all the codes of the various things but I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to paste the heart in and I'll put it in this one too Okay, and then if I hit Save Changes, some of the changes will take place right away. Some of them you will need to watch. They may take upwards of an hour. I just look at them the next day. I just write a little note to myself, put it in my to-do list. But if I go back to my store, because they'll say this message, see, they're not changed. Now, they could be changed because those were special emojis and require the actual code, or they need the hour and that's something you like I said you've got to kind of play around with need to play around with it a bit but that's one thing you can do so as I'm back let me just go back into Sabine uh, Sabina so what I would be doing is I would be looking to see which emojis I want there are tons there's tons of them okay so you know don't spend too much time you can spend hours I'm sure Okay, but there are some on this page, and again, if I really want that green heart, there's the code. So it's 128154, and then a semicolon at the end of it. But before it, I need the, no, it doesn't have the pound key. I wonder if it needs the pound key. That's interesting. But this Sabina's, let's go to the next one, which is 
Okay, so two of them have the same tops, but one of them comes up under Unicode table and the other one comes up under copy-paste character. So I tend to use copy-paste character, but I get, I've given you links below to both of them. You just type in here the icon that you're looking for. So if I write uh, Apple, it'll tell me whether they have it or not, because that was one thing I was thinking. I, I, need a, I would like an Apple table. So they're definitely the same company. But here are the apples, and then when you um, just put your mouse over this, there is the code right there. So I can copy, actually I'm going to do, so I'm going to put the red code 2781278222, and this is probably 23. Alright, so I'm going to change this one and make it all uppercase, because it sticks out better as an uppercase as opposed to just capital letter at the beginning. I'm going to show you how to do these lines. So again, you're going to have to spend some time figuring out where you want things placed, right? Because this line is actually attached to the previous, see if I roll over it, see how it's got TBT seller templates and the line, right? Whereas if I go to, and then this one also has the line. So let's go to custom, manage your categories. So the dollar sign, if you look, it's like 036. That's why it's first. So I'm going to uppercase all of this. Well, 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 I lost a bit of my film. And so I came back into my store to refilm it. And lo and behold, everything is changed. There is bestsellers in the uppercase. I did put fall, spring, and winter. I don't have any summer products. I put them in with the red apple. There they are. And I was going to put, actually, I might still do it. Let's let's do it right now. I'm I was gonna leave that, but I'm just I'm rethinking, you know, again, rethinking. You can change your mind, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go to product listings and manage. And I'm going to put the green apple with these ones and see what happens. I think what'll happen is they will pop up before the uh, math here because just because of the number so I'm going to copy this one because the green apple is that but it, instead of a two it's a three and I'm going to change this to men management let's see if that works and then what I'll do is I'll add a line and so to add a line I do a little space and then I'm going to I'm going to pull the shift key down and it's the one beside the number 0 on your keyboard and I'm going to hold it about 20 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 that's 19 it looks like it's the same I'm going to give 20 okay let's give that a go and I'll hit save changes and what you can see what I'll do is when it says see all categories I'm, if I move my mouse you can see it's right there, and there, there they are. Okay, so they're changed here. But if I go to my store again, category saved. Oh, they did change. You never know, right? You just never know. But yeah, I don't know if I want the green there. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll do a green something else and put it down below. Anyways, there you go. Very easy. It. I I tweak them from time to time because I find some. Icons don't always look the way I had a really cute pencil in one of my um, Things and it showed up black and white. I didn't like that. I wanted some color. But anyways Let me know if you have any problems with it. It is fairly easy And if you're a person who likes to go into the TPT seller forum Just search custom categories in in the forum and there's a really long post and They can explain some stuff there, too, but I think I've I think I've explained it enough <laughs> for you. All right. Next video, we are going to actually make a product. We're going to use PowerPoint. So if you have PowerPoint and you're not sure exactly how to use it, I'll give you a couple of tips and strategies. It's, I love it. I love PowerPoint. It's my number one choice for making products. So we'll make a product from scratch, an easy little worksheet. These are worksheets that I tend to have just in my classroom. I sometimes don't sell them, but you know, you could easily throw them on TPT for free, add on them, build them, and, and make them a higher price, okay? So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, and I'll catch you in that video or the TPT playlist. 
See ya.